Hello everyone, I am Pratik Kujar, Doctoral Research Scholar from the Department of Applied Mechanics, IIT Madras. The title of my presentation is When to Coat a Polymer on Concrete Surface. Polymer coatings on concrete finds many applications in the construction field such as protection material, functional material, aesthetic purposes like glazing finish, etc. In all these applications, the bond between concrete and polymer coating is a key factor for the overall performance of the coating systems. The bond strain between concrete and polymer depends on multiple factors such as physical interaction between them, chemical interactions, mechanical interlocking, heat dissipation. The amount of energy required to separate them is given by GC. As the cement hydration progresses, the surface chemical composition, porosity, etc. varies from time T0 to Tn and thereby giving rise to different corresponding surface free energies gamma 1 T0 to gamma 1 Tn as shown in the schematic. Therefore, the interfacial energy equation GC also becomes time dependent. Assuming the surface energy gamma 1 T0 greater than gamma 1 Tn, it is expected that the GC will be higher at T0 than Tn. As the contribution to GC are time dependent, so the question arises that when to coat to get the best interfacial performance. As far as the construction practice is concerned, the coating is usually done on a concrete only after it has completely hardened, that is after 28 days. However, it has no sufficient scientific backing and needs detailed study. The main objective of this work is to determine the instant or time when polymer should be coated on concrete to get maximum interfacial performance. In this study, we have used ordinary porcelain Portland cement with water cement ratio of 0.3 and two polymers which are widely used in the construction industry that is epoxy and polymethyl methacrylate. The thickness of polymer coating considered was 300 to 350 micron. The polymer was coated on 2nd, 7th and 28th days added to cement paste. The macromechanical test that is sand shear and pull of adhesion test was used to measure the interfacial strength between polymer coating and cement paste. The experimental test setup of both the test method is shown here. The samples were cast at two equal sections of a cylinder. After 24 hours, samples were demolded and cured in a water tank for respective days that is 2, 7 and 28. Once the specified curing was done, the samples were coated on diagonal face as shown in the schematic. The two halves were then tied together to form a cylinder and allowed to cure for seven days at laboratory conditions to ensure the curing of epoxy polymer. After seven days, these coated samples were reintroduced into curing tank by covering the interface by adhesive tape till 50 days from the day of casting to ensure the consistency and simulate the field conditions before testing. A similar sample preparation methodology was adopted for pull-up adhesion test also. From this learned shear and pull-up adhesion test, the adhesive failure was predominantly observed at all days of coating considered. From the results of macromechanical test, it was observed that for epoxy, the interfacial adhesive strength was same irrespective of time of coating. But for the PMMA, the interfacial adhesive strength was high when coating was done on early days, that is 2 and 7, as compared to 28 days. These observations bring into light the time or instant of coating a polymer on concrete and also the role of polymer functional group in the interfacial performance between polymer and concrete. Thank you.